Brianna Nobles, The Witch Next Door here, and things are about to get serious. I knew when I started this channel that this video was going to be done, and I just didn't know how or when, but today seems appropriate. This was a bad week for me. Last Sunday was Father's Day, and this Sunday is my father's birthday. My father killed himself in October, right before Halloween, actually, my favorite holiday. I am still having trouble dealing with it. People ask me how I am, and I don't know what to tell them because there's a lot of confusion still. I've been very emotional this week. I didn't think it would hit me as hard as it did, but honestly, I don't even know what I should say here. Do you, do you just want to know the facts? My father had too much iron in his blood, and that iron collects in organs. We believe, or I am told, to believe that clusters of iron were in his brain, and it drove him insane. Um, I wasn't actually there for all of that. I didn't know how serious it was. I wrote it off. I wrote a lot of things with him off, actually. And when my younger sister finally got a hold of me and made me realize what was going on, we were actually going to have him committed because he was convinced that the neighbors were trying to kill him and he was a danger to himself. The day they were going to take him to the mental institution or whatever you want to call it, I called to see how he was. It was the next day, it was the very next day that I found out all of this was happening that I called. He, he didn't answer. I, I left a message along the lines of, Daddy? Daddy, are you there? Can you hear me? Because they had one of those old fashioned answering machines that could be heard around the house. It's Brianna, if, it, if you're there, pick up. I was just calling to check on you. Give me a call back if you get a chance. He was already dead by that point. My sister found him. At his funeral, nobody knew who I was. When they heard the name, they knew, because they knew he had a older daughter, but they didn't know who I was because I was pretty estranged. And I don't know if I regret that, and I don't, I don't know. My father and I were not close. We didn't really understand each other. And that's why it's all so confusing. Don't get me wrong, I loved my father, and I'm sure he loved me. But we weren't alike. Not at all. I got one thing out of that funeral, though. When people were told my name, they said, oh, the writer won. So my father bragged about me. I didn't know that. I was the writer one. That's what I get. But it's still confusing. People keep telling me he couldn't have been saved if I tried. I don't know. They said he was too far gone. All I can say is this, if you ever think about committing suicide, if you ever think your problems are so overwhelming that death is the only solution, well, I'm going to take a note out of Medium, the TV show. They opened one of their episodes once about these guys who did a paper on people who jumped off the Golden Gate Bridge, and they, they tracked down all the people who ever survived. And they interviewed them, and they all had their own problems. They all had their own reasons for jumping. But there was one thing, one thing each and every one of those survivors had in common. About halfway down, they started to think, maybe my problems weren't so big after all. And I always wondered, if that's what all the survivors thought, 
odds are pretty good that all the ones who didn't survive thought the same thing. 